so welcome back to my youtube channel my name is antonia if you're new welcome um so today we're going to be doing an unboxing again another unboxing i've just got loads and i've got another one to be doing as well after this one now the beautiful owls delivered this to me the other day which is cherry wallace's creation of magical curiosities box i am so so excited to unbox this box like literally on any box i've ever got i've literally been looking at it for like the past like four days the owl nearly bit my finger off but it was worth it and i can't wait to open it um so this was like a to do it was partners with geekia and it was like a one-off box but i know she's doing a christmas box so definitely go and check out her channel i'll put it all a social media and a youtube channel all below so you can go and follow it because i can imagine this box is going to be amazing a youtube is amazing i literally watched every single video she's ever done i'm obsessed with her and i, I am so excited to see what she's done because i know she's personally like put so much thought she's created all the items inside the box and her collection is beautiful and she's just amazing so i am super excited to see what's in here um, so yeah, let's get on with the unboxing. I'll give you the sneak peek. So we'll, un we'll unbox it. It's gonna, oh, it's a little letter. Oh, there was a letter on top. See you later. And a little wiggly worm and some flying keys. Because she has got a flying key tattoo on her arm. So there's some flying keys and some lightning bolts. That paper's gorgeous. But let's see the little note that kind of went flying. So it just says, I hope this letter finds you well and that the owl that delivered it arrived safely, which he did. He was lovely. A little bit late, but absolutely worth the wait. So it was no problems at all. I still fed him. He deserves a treat. He went far and wild. And with this weather, I'm, I'm in the UK. Um, so it was ups and downs. Like today, it's grey as anything, but tomorrow it could be hot. So, um, you know, can't believe him. Um, I also hope that this box didn't end up in the wrong hands as I will likely get into trouble for exposing our kind to the muggle world. Obviously not. Um, if you're reading this I wanted to say a big thank you for all your support with the creation of Magical Curiosities. Always Cherry. P.S. by the way, by the way, sorry the bird bites. Yeah, I found that out unfortunately. <laughs> but apart from this little over-enthusiastic wiggly worm. We'll take the paper back and we'll see what is inside. Or let me pull it that way. Oh, no, no, no little sneak peeks with this box. So I can't really see anything, I'm not gonna lie. So I'll just put my hand in and we'll find what the first thing that I sort of come across. I'm just like a little feel. Oh, I can feel a bag. Well, let's get out. I'll give you, I'll kind of have a little sneak peek. But Oh, so it's a tea. Now, normally Geeky, I include these in their boxes. Um, they do, like, normally a bigger one for the limited edition ones and then for the, the regular monthly ones who do one. This is our oh, the Time Turning Tea. So the ingredients are white tea, flavouring, coconut chips. I'm not really a big fan of coconut, but I love it, like, for the skin, but not really, like, tasting it, but we'll get over it to do the Time Turner. The sweet blackberry leaves, rose petals, corn flower petals... Marigold petals, sunflower, <laughs> got half the bloody flower, freaking continents in here. I don't think flowers have continents, but I'm just going to say there are. It's a passion fruit infused tea. I'll look at the little image with the little, let me just see if that, oh, there we go. We've got the focus <laughs> with the little cuff and little tans in it. That is gorgeous. I love the fact it's all gold. Like, it's so pretty. Oh, it's just beautiful. That is beautiful. Now, personally, I don't drink tea. So normally I just keep these because they look pretty, so I don't mind, it still looks pretty, but I don't actually drink, I don't really drink hot drinks in general. Wait, there's a hair like sticking, oh, get off, get on my life. Um, but yeah, I don't really drink hot drinks, I'll have a hot chocolate, don't get me wrong, hot chocolate's like the exception, but I feel like I, burnt, I had a hot chocolate in work yesterday and literally burnt my mouth off because... I feel like I don't like drinking them when they're cold, so I try and drink them fast because I like them when they're hot and then bear my tongue off. So that's all for the games, but that is lovely to have in the box and it's so special because she always wears a time turn a necklace. I should have put mine on, but I haven't got the one other one that I've got like a little fake one. Let me just pop that on. I'll be back in one second. And I'm back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got my little time turn on. So this isn't a real one. Um, someone got me this from one of my old jobs. It's sort of like a present for my birthday. Um, but we'll keep that on. Oh, oh I'm, I'm looking. Right, so I've got a box. So we'll pick this box up because it's what. Okay, so it says Herbology. So it's this little box. Yeah, let me... Oh, blind. Don't play these games with me. Okay, the reflection is, is not really doing well for the box here. So I'm unboxing it. So... Oh, <laughs> I 
I try to avoid spoilers so much, but at the minute, like I've like I haven't seen a spoiler, but like because I, I have uh, Victoria McLean on YouTube, subscribe to her, go and check her channel. I will link it below. It's Cherry Wallace. I know uh, the Bakey. She just put one up and um book rose so i'll put all their channels down below so you can check out their videos because i know they've unboxed it um they kept coming up to me recommended i like kept like trying to show me a sneak peek and i was like no 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 stop it right now um but i think i'm kind of seeing like a little sneak peek of this on victoria's but i like clicked off so fast so i didn't actually look at it properly so oh wow oh wow oh wow wait i'll show it with you oh wow this is amazing wow it's like a proper ornament like it's like not playing games oh that is beautiful look at the little oh my god that is amazing oh my god i love it <laughs> i'm way too happy about this box already i'm only able to take a little one of that is amazing oh i love it i love it i love it i love it see i feel like i love herbology but i'd be terrible because i'm not very good with like real living things like i can't deal with insects or anything that's alive really stresses me almost like anything spies us <sighs> i'm not okay with them but i feel like i love like so like in real life and what i'm saying is in real life i'm not very good like gardening like i avoid the like wildlife at all costs so i don't think i'd be and i feel like i'm petrified like camping as well because of the wrong turn and hills of eyes and all these beautiful films never go and watch them um, <laughs> But yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. That look amazing. I've got like a little, I'll do like a little, well, when my room's sorted. Because this is the wall I was saying in my last video that I want to do like a collage of all the pictures. So I've got loads of picture frames down there. And to put them all up there. Because at the minute, I mean, I've got like obviously the Gryffindor poster. This is from Geeky. Yeah. This is also from Geeky, which you can't really see. I'm, I'm like squatting like as if that's going to help. It was the one of the Three Brothers. Because I love anything to do with the tale of the Three Brothers. Um, and then I've got this Hogwarts one as well and uh, that's also from Kiki yeah, but that is all hopefully going to be changing soon um, so yeah but that is absolutely gorgeous so let's get on to let me move that box over and um, let me get on to the next thing <laughs> the next thing that I've just pulled out the box is this it says the oh god the reflection um, it says it's the memory vial Oh, wow. What's it say on the back? This exquisitely crafted vial bottle will hold your closest memories for many years to come. Oh, wow. And it's got like the little pensive on top, or the pensive, however you pronounce it properly. I don't really pronounce a lot of things properly. I'm from Liverpool, so. <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, oh. I'm just. I feel like I need to calm down. I feel like I'm way too excited. <laughs> So I'll like unbox it with you, so let's unbox it together. Oh, it's got bubble wrap as well. Oh my god. Love me some bubble wrap. But let's just pull it out. Oh wow. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Let's take away the wrapping so we can see it. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. Does it open? I don't want to pull it in case it doesn't open. I don't know whether. Oh, no, it does. Oh, oh, oh. thought it broke here. That is stunning. Oh my god, it's so stunning. The bottle, like, I love... I know Cherry has, like, a lovely little potions collection. I know Victoria's got one at the minute as well. Um, and I absolutely love it and to do, like, potion bottles. And you see, but this is so beautiful. Um, oh my god, that is just beautiful. It literally looks like it's been taken quite out of Dumbledore's office and just being plunked right here. I'm going to, like, move over a little bit so you can... I don't know whether that'll look any better. <laughs> I'm not really sure if it's very well, but... Obviously, again, I'll do a close-up so you can see it a little bit, but that is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow. She's killing it. She's killing it. She's killing me off. It's fine. Whatever. I don't want to live. Should have planned my funeral before I ordered to unbox this box, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> so, we'll move on to the next item. This girl is just testing me feelings today. It's a pin. Wait, oh no, let me just take that right out the wrapping because we're just not going to see it with this reflection on me. Let me just grab that out. I'll show it to you before I look at it properly because I'm just upset. Oh, oh, reflection. Can you not? Can you not? Come on, let's pack it in. I will do a close-up so you can see it a little bit better because obviously the reflection of it in front of the window is not helping our lifestyle right now. Let's see... So it says it's the Yule Ball 
Oh my god, that is just beautiful. I don't know. Can you see it? Oh, if we do. Oh, <laughs> we had like a good light and then and I moved. Oh, that's a bit better. Okay, we can see it a little bit better. Obviously, it's not very up close. It's got like three little snowflakes and like the yellow, the pink, and the blue. And they look like pumpkin little heads. Oh, it's just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And it's got two backs now. I know Cherry released um, some pins not too long ago. And she's on like a chocolate frog, the Hogwarts. And there was another one. What was the other one? I got all three of them. Was there another one? I swear there was another one. Let me go and get my pin board and I'll be back and we'll see what it was. There was another one. Uh, it was the staff one, so I'll show you a little sneak peek. Now, obviously, if I do a pink collection, I will be showing these in more detail. But I'll just show you cherries. So I'll just pull them off. That'll be a lot easier. Let me just pull them out. So there was this one, which says staff. So it's meant to be like honey jukes. Uh, absolutely beautiful. And then we have this chocolate frog, which is on blue. <laughs> I don't know, oh, is that a little bit better? This is just gorgeous. I love to end and see with chocolate frog, I'm obsessed. And then the final pin, beautiful Hogwarts and all pastel, beautiful colours. Oh yeah, we, we can see it there without any reflection. So let me just try and get it to focus on it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, all of the pins are absolutely beautiful. So to have that to add some, it will just be amazing. I mean, as you know from the last video, I am obsessed with pins. So. I'm a very happy bunny from that, so I'll just pick out the next item in a moment. You can see what's next. Next item I've just found is wrapped so magically and beautiful. Like it literally looks like it's just being dropped by owls in the great hall. So this is what it looks like. Oh, I don't even wanna I don't even wanna ruin it, but I, there's no way of getting in without me undoing it. I know Cherry loves tweed, so it makes sense that this is all wrapped in it. I'm sure always puts them on a potion bottle. Oh my god, look how like it's it's all like entwined together. I'm oh, just ruining it. I'm never gonna be able to redo that again. Right, so we've took the twine off. So then the next oh this just unfolds. So let's just and I've got my little Gryffindor prize as well, maybe so I wanted before, but very fitting since Cherry's a Gryffindor too. Okay, I'm gonna show you his face before I see it. Like, let me just. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Stop it. Stop it right now. It's the Philosopher's Stone. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is absolutely beautiful. I have no idea what it's made out of. I'm not. But it's like. Like it, oh, I shouldn't be throwing this. <laughs> Nicholas Flamel will not be happy with me, but it is absolutely beautiful. Oh wow, that is stunning! That is just stunning. I'm, I'm shocked, <laughs> literally shocked. Like, I just can't cope. The girl's trying to kill me, she's actually trying to kill me. Um, This is, oh wow, I love the little sticker. This is like a letter, I'm, I don't know whether, this, will this be a spoiler? Let's try and not ruin the sticker. Ah, oh, when she smashes it. Are you, what are you? I can't go. I actually can't go. The pages out of the half blood prints advanced po advanced potion making a uh, book oh wow <laughs> oh my god i actually feel like i can't go so she's got the drought of living death potion with like oh, i actually feel a little bit emotional like i can't cope like i thought that was gonna be a spoiler card and like she's just killing me off she's just killing me off like i thought this box was gonna be amazing but i don't think i've ever fell in love and i think because i love her so much hey cherry if you watch this i don't know whether you will but if you do i absolutely love you um and i think you're amazing and this box is just everything and more so definitely plan on putting 100 reminders on calendars try and get the december box and you didn't get this box honestly definitely make sure you keep an eye out for the december box because if this is what she's just doing now i can't even imagine what the next one's gonna be <laughs> um 
oh wow so it's got like all the ingredients and like it's all like crossed out too so it's got like the um snape's all little notes too oh wow and then it goes on oh, the instructions it literally just says the whole way about it to make the drought of living death wow <laughs> it's so reusable and then it's got like all these symbols on the back wow this is just i love replicas and um, that's why i was so excited about this box because i know cherry loves replicas too but i think replicas replicas sorry is just so amazing like it just makes me feel like a real witch and like i'm about to get on the train to hogwarts and i just love actually having a proper replica there um and it like i love like going out and and just feeling all wizardy like i'm not bothered what other people think and you shouldn't too like if you love something then real people who care about you will love it too and they'll love you for having that passion and this is just amazing sorry for going off on a tangent then but that is just amazing oh i don't think i'm ready to deal with the rest of this box <laughs> i was gonna do a wings eyeliner because cherry's always got a wing and i love a wing but me eyeliner's just having a bit of a bad day and it's like going gray more than it's going black so i was like i'm not even gonna play that game i'm just gonna leave that to that okay so this is like another letter oh i think this is the cheat oh i think this is the cheat sheet okay that is the cheat sheet we're not gonna play games with that looks like a piece of parchment and loads of gorgeous writing wow 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 right we're not we're not gonna play games with that i want to put that down because there's some more and just move all these twiggly yeah this is definitely the last thing in the box oh my god it's beautiful <laughs> it's a mandrake print or oh, there's like a painting like it's like thick it's not well not thick thick but it's not like you know kim kardashian thick but it's like like card more than like thin paper oh wow oh wow this is just gorgeous i love his little little sp sprout sprout <laughs> whatever it's called um oh i love it this is actually designed by cherry because I know she's doing art and she has got an art Instagram and I will also link that down below because I know she's recently been posting things like that. But it's, it's, it says Ch Cherry Wallace at the bottom. <laughs> I can't even speak because I'm getting that like excited. Stop it. It's, if this is designed by her, like I'm not being funny, but like is she actually trying to kill me? I will go through the cheat sheet. <laughs> So, don't get me wrong, there's a lot to read, so I'll try and, like, condense it because I know I stumble on my words as it is. So, you don't want to listen to that for, like, the next ten minutes. But we've got year one. Uh, so, each, sorry, yeah, I didn't explain that at the start. Each item was sort of one from each film and book. So, like, one item, so obviously the Philosopher's Stone, which is what it's going to get into now, is from the first book and film. For me, I like it. Obviously, it's just from the Philosopher's Stone. We'll just group it together. It's not like book, film, individual. <laughs> um, I've always had a fondness for Harry's first year at Hogwarts, mostly because it's where we were first introduced to the Wizarding World. If we had never picked up the first book, I think our lives would feel a lot less magical. And you most likely would not be reading this right now. That's very true. <laughs> I felt like there was no other choice but to include the Philosopher's Stone to represent Harry's first year at Hogwarts. Wrapped in brown paper and twine, just how it looked when Hagrid removed it from the vault in Gringotts. You are now the owner of your very own Philosopher's Stone. Keep it safe, use it wisely and keep it out of the muggle hands. That is just amazing and that's amazing that she even made sure that she replicated it to so the very first time that we've seen it is just... Oh, she is insane she is insane so year two is the mandrake artwork which is this beautiful beautiful thing which will be framed and put on this wall i'd say in a blink of an eye but i'm not i don't really trust myself with a hammer and a nail so that's why i haven't put the other pictures up yet because i'm a little bit scared of myself if i'm honest like i've got all the things there literally half my room is like covered with on the floor with all these pictures that i need to put up but I'm just flapping because I know I'll probably end up losing my fingers, so <laughs> we will get to doing it. Repotting young, young mandrakes in herbology class was Professor Pomona Sprout, was one of my favourite scenes in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Why? I think it's because if I was a Hogwarts, the greenhouse, the greenhouse, sorry, are where I'd spend most of my time. I've always had a fascination with mandrake plants. I like that the root shapes resemble humans. I never knew that. She's teaching new things every day. <laughs> um, 
where was bloody up to i like that they scream when they're being replanted and that you need to wear earmuffs i painted oh my god she actually did paint it oh my god like i actually feel so blessed that i own that oh wow <laughs> i painted this with watercolor paint i feel like i should name him yeah girl you whip a name on him because i don't want to name him i want him to be like a cherry wallace like he is all yours i she's insane as if she painted this though as it like that is insane cherry are you insane that's insane that is ins that is honestly like i know you're amazing at art and i know you've been trying to do it is it like digital like you're doing it on an ipad like i'm sure you said you got an ipad for it this is insane and like i know i think you went to got a degree in art I'm sure that's what you said i'm so sorry if i'm lying i'm so sorry if this is wrong <laughs> absolutely like trolling myself saying like oh yeah i'm a big fan yeah okay i'm doing yeah <laughs> but this is absolutely absolutely this is literally one of my favorite items like i'm so i love art and anything like that but i love the fact it's so basic though like not basic like, obviously it's not basic i don't mean that in a bad way i mean it in a nice way like i love the fact the background let me just like click on it so you can focus it a little bit better but i love the fact the background is just plain white and this is just a main focus and feature so like you can't like nothing else is distracting it's just that beautiful and it's so simplistic that was the way i was going for not basic basic absolutely not as in simplistic it's just so elegant and so beautiful oh my god i'm so shocked i'm so shocked and the fact that she's sorry <laughs> little eye hiccup there <laughs> but the fact that she's put that in there and she's created it like well I, I feel so blessed i can't even cope um but then year three we've got let me find the tea that was the first thing we took off the box then did the ah so if you've watched any of my videos on these these muggle devices you'll know that i'm really seeing without wearing my time turner from harry potter and the prison of azkaban i also love tea fruit flavors are my favorite so i hope you enjoy this one i'm quite shocked there's no citrus because i'm no sure citrus but then i feel like with that many petals and things like that it wouldn't have made sense but i can imagine it's beautiful like i know probably if you watch on their videos they'll sniff it i just get a risk because i don't want to then like ruin it you know, like if I open it and have a little smell, but let me see what's the next one. Right, to do your ball pin, moving on to the next one. Year four, would you enter your name into the Goblet of Fire? I'm not sure that I would. I definitely wouldn't. I'm way too much of a fanny to be dealing with things like that. Um, but I'd definitely attend the year ball. Oh my God, yes, absolutely. Hermione in that dress is my favourite, favourite thing, like, favorite outfit in the whole whole like when i was so much younger so much younger but when i was younger i really wanted to look like that like oh it killed me the dresses and dress robes the music the food and <laughs> drink yeah i'll be there for the food and let's not forget the decorations you knew i'd sneak an enamel pin into this box didn't you this pin was designed by amelia b23 and myself she makes wonderful magical pins amelia oh sweet mother of baby jesus i will link amelia's etsy shop and her instagram down below she is amazing like amazing amazing um um this kills me life off i don't know what cherry's actually trying to do to me like literally amelia's like my favorite pin creator one of them like i have a and there's another one called poppins collectibles so i'll pop both of them down below like don't get me wrong there's so many other small um shops that i love too uh, like swish and flick are amazing but them two on instagram just kill me like i mean poppins collectibles is so so beautiful inside and out speaking to her all the time and amelia's the same like they just message back all the time and there's just so amazing and the, the pins they create are on a whole nother level whole 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 nother level whole whole <laughs> so i will link both of them down below because they are so amazing but i am so shocked that that's me by you too um then we're going to move on to year five which is the mimbless melbatonia i'm gonna assume that's the plant that i can't say in english but i'm gonna assume this is this bad boy don't worry this mimbless mimbletonia <laughs> won't cover you and stink sap never long boss and received one of these interesting plants as a gift in the summer of 1995 i wasn't even born i was born in 1997 but it's okay you'll present the was <laughs> we first see the mi oh my god she's wrote this so many times the mimbless melbatonia plant in harry potter and the order of phoenix did you know the plant in the film was so soft and spongy with an anum 
Uh, anim animatronic robot and so that's probably not English, but we'll just carry on the sentence and you can kind of put it together. A robot inside to make it move. I can I can confirm this as I have been lucky enough to hold it myself. That's amazing. So this is what this beautiful little, please don't make me say it again. But this what this beautiful thing implant is. It was, it was held by Never Long Bottom. So then we're gonna move to year six, which is this absolutely amazing drought of living death potion recipe. So uh, you're, you may know by now that one of my favorite books from Hogwarts is Advanced Potion Making. I wanted to show, to share, honey, to share this potion recipe with you. Otherwise, how are you going to win a vital of Felix Felicis from Professor Slughorn? This is designed by Alarm 18. They're amazing. I will also link his um, Instagram down below and his website because you can buy sh books. <laughs> you can buy books. <laughs> you can buy books off him and he's just replicas and they are insane. Who means one of my favourite limited edition books. This page has come directly from the hundreds of magical pages he designed for his version of advanced potion making. So keep it safe and away from muggle eyes. This is just amazing and it's insane that it comes from him because you can't actually buy this book off him anymore. You know, he's like a limited one. Uh, and I'm so, so sad because I'd love, I need to own his books in my collection. And hopefully one day I am hopefully saving because I know like, he does a run of them and then that's it. Which is really stressing me out because I really want them because he literally looks like they've just been taken off the Hogwarts shelves and I just, I need them. <laughs> but I also need to go and like rob Gringotts so I can get the money. So if anyone wants to help me do that, let me know. <laughs> um, but <laughs> the last thing that we have is this beautiful, let me just find it. I've got all, all my goodies on the bed now. <laughs> is the memory vial is the last thing. So year seven is the memory vial. Imagine being able to bottle your most treasured memory. It's one concept from the wizardry world that I wish was real. This item was inspired by Harry collecting Professor Snape's... Professor Severus Snape, sorry, she gave him his full titles. And tears. I wanted to create a product where you could save your own memories and label it yourself. What memory would you save? I'd love to know. That's so magical. Um oh that is amazing and I feel like it's gonna take a lot to know which one I'd want to save and bottle up and look after um because there is so many like there's so many that it's so important to remember how important things are like at the minute I'm trying to really get into positive thinking and that's why I'm sort of doing this channel to make myself happy like unboxing this has just made me so happy <laughs> Um, and it's so amazing that I, I just want to share it so other people can get happy because I get so happy watching other people like do unboxings and speak to other people and yeah <laughs> my voice is going there but, <laughs> but this is just so beautiful and it's an absolutely amazing box and I feel so so special to be able to get my hands on it I mean I bought it the day that it came out literally I had a uh, terminal on <laughs> eight alarms going and everything so I could get it and there was loads of drama when we were trying to get it like the website just couldn't handle all our magical little folks trying to get a hold of it um but it's absolutely beautiful uh, and I will have to come back to Cherry on deciding what memory I'd want to put into my memory vial. Um, but yeah, that is everything inside the box. So I couldn't even pick a favourite. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, I couldn't. I was going to say, I think this is one of my favourite things, especially by the fact it's done by Cherry and I love her so much. Like, I am a little fangirl for it. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not. Um, and I think that's so special. I mean, I love pins. Uh, but then this like i literally nearly had a meltdown <laughs> but then i love like i love all of it like this is definitely going straight next to my bed now so i can put that in like all my other little things like my little collectible things i mean and the memory vial as well like that is it's more because it's got such a beautiful sentimental meaning to it that i think that's amazing um oh and the philosopher stone oh my god <laughs> the only thing i'd say i probably like my personal least favourite is the tea, not because of the like the concept behind the time tainer. I mean, I love the fact that she wears a time tainer and just something had to be included to do with the time tainer, otherwise it wouldn't have been a cherry box. Like it just would not have been a cherry box. I just wish I liked tea. So it's not a problem with me, not a problem with the box. Um and even like the little I love the personal like effects and the fact like it's handwritten even like the spoiler the spoiler card <laughs> the spoiler like letter like it literally that looks like someone else hogwarts like it's even like the way they've made it like a is it worn like it's old kind of 
Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I just, I'm obsessed. <laughs> so I'm so sorry how long this video is because I've been like fangirling at every single thing that I've unboxed. And I normally like to keep them a little bit shorter because I feel like I get a little bit, not bored, but like, I like them to be a little bit condensed so you sort of get to see everything but you're not here for like 100 years of your life. So I really hope that you've gone and got a snack or, you know, you've gone in bed, you've got comfy, you are having a comfortable evening because you'll need it by the fact that I've had you on here for forever. Um, but I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and I've absolutely loved unboxing this box and I can't wait. I'm praying to loads of baby Jesus that I can get hold of a Christmas box um, because I've definitely need that in my life. <laughs> yeah, but it was lovely to have you here and I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoyed everything that was inside because I definitely know that I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope that you'll sort of subscribe, give us a like. Definitely put in the comments down below what your favourite item is because I am literally struggling trying to decide what i love and because i literally loved every single thing like she just she just knocked it she just come out of nowhere and was like there you go there you go get on my box i'm amazing <laughs> but yeah it's just unbelievable and i really hope you enjoyed it like i said and it was lovely for you to be here and i definitely hope to see you in the next video the next video will be it'll be coming up very shortly and it is let me just grab the box because it arrived today it is so heavy it's on the way my address is and my address playing on here so i'm like that's it so i hope you're here to watch that and hopefully i'll see you in the next video so bye <laughs> So well done for reaching the end of your video. You done amazing by it lasting that long. Um, so just make sure that if you've lasted this long and you're actually watching this little bit at the end, that you leave time tainer inside the comments. It's, it's a Cherry Waller special, so you've got to do something with the time tainer. So pop that in the comments down below so I know that you've watched the whole video. Um, yeah, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell, obviously if you want to come back and see me more. I'll put all my social medias down below so you can give me a follow on any of them if you've got them or add me on like Snapchat or anything like that. And obviously I'll just do like little sneak peeks of what I'm going to do and little things like that. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!